How can I help? Of course. Let I'll them meet our best! I'll try to keep this shit. May the gods have mercy on you. Let them meet our best! Let's Let go. them Let's meet go. our Let's best! Go. Your turn is needed. Look! Yes, yes. Yes, fear I am whom's 
speak your mind. How can I help? Your command? Careful and quiet. Careful and quiet. Your command? Of course. Yes. You want a taste of this? At once. What is it? How can I help? Your command? Careful Forward. and quiet. Careful and quiet. Yes. Speak your mind. How can I help? It shall be done. Do you need me? CEO the DG Petto. Name your task. Faccio, Faccio, Fere. Careful and quiet. Cucuro, Secus. Ready and willing. Faccio, Speak your mind. It shall be done. You want to yes. taste this? To battle! Oh. Uh. Something amiss? 
Careful and quiet. shall be done.
yes? Agreed. Speak your very well. Careful 
and quiet. May the oh, God God. Have mercy. Speak your mind. Shall be done. Can I help? Well and good. To victory. Yes. Speak your mind. Careful and quiet. Your command? Forward.
Take your at once. Careful and quiet. Speak your mind at once. How can I help? Careful. Very and well. Quiet. Very well. something You're careful hand. name your task Quiet. Shall be done. Your time Oops. draws near. Oops, your Here time draws near. Something about Oops. Oops. Yes. Speak your mind onward.
speak your mind. Yeah, Hello. Yep, yep, yep. To battle! Your command? Take that! Yes. Huh? Ready. Yeah. Speak your mind. How can I help? Careful. Very well. Why? Okay. Take that! Oops. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Take that! Yes. Here we go! Whatever you need. Speak your mind word. How can I help? It shall be done. Your command, onward. Death comes with swift wings. My hiding place is a place of hiding no longer. Why am I hiding? Come. Why does anyone hide? Death is what I hide from. My spirit fears for its life as do the spirits of all living things. So much that I must run from death. Cheat it by hiding from it. Your coming is why I buried myself here. For in visions, my death walks in your shadow. It is for that that I fled my people, tried to hide myself from your eyes, and the reason I have long feared this meeting. Yet fear tires the spirit, and it has brought me little except more fear. <laughs> kill me if you wish, or leave me here, and she will kill me. 
In the end, I die the same death. You have seen the creature that wears Wolf Dane's body like a cloak. She has chosen wisely that one. No, no, Jared is long dead and gone from this world. This creature is of a different sort, a spirit of things that once were but can never be again. She is the spirit of one who died in the North long ago, and she carries the death of the North with her now. She has taken Wolf Dane's body, and with it, the heart of his people. She is clever and moves as ice moves, slowly and patiently. She will prove a difficult foe, for she carries death with her, as do you all. All things have a weakness, and in this, the creature that is Wolfdane and I share a common one, sight. Do you know why I have hidden here, chosen this place? The ice is a shield more powerful than steel or iron. Though it does not know this, the creature that is Wolfdane cannot approach it and remain Wolfdane. Ice is a curious thing. One may see through it, yet see themselves in it. Therein lies power. But the creature that is Wolfdane is a proud thing like all of her kind. She cannot bear to see herself as anything other than she is no matter what corpse she hides in. The mirror you held to enter here will force her to see. In seeing, Wolfdane's body will melt from her like water. No more Wolfdane, only the beast, the great worm of ice and snow. Bring the ice mirror before her. She will remember it. For it is of her, and a thing knows its own nature. In her shadow is my death. I will not approach her. The mirror is enough, and my words shall be heard only by you. A woman knows a woman's heart and a strange, beautiful, and cruel thing it is. But the cruelest of all is a heart of winter, for it beats not with love, but with loss, and nothing may comfort it. When a human heart breaks, it may heal and forgive. When a heart of winter breaks, it is like ice. It shatters and can never be made whole again. A heart of winter is what will damn our people and yours. All so it may remember what life once was, not as it is. Her heart was broken once by a man of the Ten Towns. A mighty breaking it was, for in it, she lost her kingdom, her love, and her life. Now, her heart beats with the vengeance of winter. A woman's fury is a terrible thing. Many women have you met in your travels. Many more have you yet to meet. You will learn their hearts. In each, there is rage, and love, and hate and sorrow. I have seen all their deaths, whether death has come for them or not. Shall I speak their hearts? One woman clutches a heart like a drowning man clutches a stone and knows not that it drags her down. Her dreams are watchfires, 
signaling to her of war and victory that can never be. One dwells beneath a mirror of the sky and has a heart like an ocean, too big for her will to contain. She wants new love, then loved again. And her love is what has damned the North. Another woman builds great ships upon molten seas, all the while dreaming of beasts of purity and how they might be corrupted, as she once was. I see her die, and her dreams become ash, and the last, oh, the last, the elder races. Their passions burn so brightly when fueled with justice and hope. One, but a child, loved so much she abandoned her own father to die beneath the earth for a people she had never met. All these things they will come to pass, or already have. You will meet them, or you have met them. It is of no matter. Time cares nothing for now and then. I see as if through the eyes of hundreds, child, such sights. It is as if my life is split upon countless branches of a great tree, and I can see through the eyes of each branch into another place, another time. I have seen visions of the past, of death, of spiraling cities and a black brambled garden, of creatures both spirit and stone. In all these things, I was not myself, yet always I see through a woman's eyes. If you would leave this place, I may speed your journey though only to the entrance of the gloom frost, no farther. Do you wish it? Careful and quiet. We should rest soon. I'm dying to get out of these clothes. How can I help? Very well. Careful and quiet. Your command? Very well. Yes? Of course. Onward. Careful and quiet. Speak your mind. It shall be done. Agreed. At once. Do you need me? What a beautiful morning. Why are you here, Outlander? I see no shaman for you to hide behind this time. I see. You lose one shaman who shielded you, and now you hide behind another. So tell me, 
Why did she send you? Gift me a mirror? You humor me, Outlander. Neither I nor my people have use of such a thing. It is a toy of your people. It plays upon the vanity of fools and females. Why should she gift me such a thing? No. More likely this is some Outlander trick designed to slay me. You seek to succeed where your previous assassin failed. I am Wolfdane, blessed and guided by the spirit of Jared. I fear nothing, Outlander. <laughs> and what is it that you see? What truth is revealed to you? What indeed? Wolfdane shall see the truth of his reflection, Outlander. He shall see a king raised from the dead, the forming of a great nation, and the triumph of his people as the Ten Towns are erased from the face of Faerun. Hold forth your mirror and behold such a king among men. Huh. Your mirror is nothing more than I expected. A simple toy that... No. No, it cannot be. What have I done? This hideous form defiles the majesty of my being. Enough! Put away your mirror! Ah, sight is painful, is it not, spirit? Such pain is well known to me. And seeing yourself as you truly are, the most painful thing of all. Look into the mirror, creature that is Wolfdane. See truth. See yourself. What do you know of pain, hag? I held the north in my claws. When I spread my wings, I shadowed the face of the world. I was a goddess. One man. One man took it all from me. My life, my love, everything that I was. Arnim, I curse you and all your kind. I will yet see the day that I eradicate all humans. And I shall start with you, hag. It is done. This wound is by time's hand. There is no healing it. The time of my death is now upon me. I have found that fear, the fear of death, is no small thing to put aside. Yet I will not allow the hopes of my people and yours to be slain because of an old woman's fear. Death comes for us all. And I, for one, see it. And now, embrace it. Need something?
can I help? Very well. Of course. What is it? At once. Your command? Huh? Yeah. Ready. Sure. Yes, of course. Speak your mind. Forward. Continue to show you favor upon the field of glory. Please, I need to rest. 
Yeah, speak your mind. Get ready. How can I help? Very well. Your guess? Forward. Forward! Speak your mind. Shall be done. Forward. 